23rd of February 2021. This is Sergey Baklikov. You're watching Baklikov Live here. I'm bringing the live streams to the whole new level. This is St. Petersburg, Russia. And uh, today, at the 23rd of February, we are celebrating nationwide holiday, which is called the Day of the Defender of the Fatherlands. It's uh, the holiday which uh, origins from 1919. At first, it was the Day of the Red Army, then the Day of the Red Army and uh, the Navy Day, uh, then the Soviet Army and Soviet Navy Day. And uh, these days, this is uh, the Defenders of uh, the Fatherlands Day. Uh, and uh, now it's mostly considered it's more like uh, just uh, less militarized, if I can say so. Can I say militarized? Okay, so it's like a less uh, military oriented, but more oriented uh, to just uh, all men in general, like a man's day. Yeah, but of course, like it's still having a huge military context. Uh, it's like... Uh, uh, the day of all of those who first of all in the army or in the navy but actually here by default defaults 90 i don't know 97 percent of people even those ones who never served in the military however they are in a reserve like let's say i i never served in the military in the army uh because uh, well i was stopped by the uh medicine check because I have a flat feet but I'm uh, limitedly how would say uh, limitedly okay limitedly okay for uh, this the surf and if something really extraordinary will, will happen what will require the uh, like a nationwide all Russia uh, mobilization so I will be called okay so uh, but I, but I hope nothing nothing is expecting for us enough of wars for russia okay enough of wars for russia russia saw so many wars for uh all its already more than thousand years history enough dudes enough okay um so today it's uh the live stream dedicated to this day and we're going to the White Hall of uh, St. Petersburg State Polytechnic University, also known as Peter the Great Polytechnic University. Come on. Well, today I'm starting not uh, in the uh, historic city center. This is more like 1950s, 1960s district. This is Lesnaya, Lesnaya Metro Station, like a forest forest uh, metro station this is a uh, red line of uh, st petersburg metro kontimirovsk street and uh, from here now like for about 40 minutes i will go by walk to the white hall of uh, polytechnic university one of top universities of russia it was founded in 1899 uh it was founded with the power of uh, Sergei Vite back in those days, he was the uh, Minister of Finances of uh, um, Russian Empire. And it was done in collaboration with the uh, scientist, uh, chemist Dmitry Mendeleev. Um, you all have to know Dmitry Mendeleev for how it's called uh, I forgot how it's called in English well it's um, a grid of uh, chemical elements oh yes periodic table yes Curtis CC thank you uh, welcome to the live stream, Brian B. Thanks so much for super chats. That was awesome. You know, got a super chat before I even started the live stream. Thanks for your support. That's what keeps all these live streams without 
any advertisements. Just uh, pure content directly from Russia. I'm in Hatar, Victor Z, J. Lewis, Neil McDonald. Everybody, guys, hello. Hi. Now it is started snowing here. Dan Voronov, here's the coffee. Thanks so much. I remember they sell coffee there. It's snowy a little bit. I'm not sure how how long it will snow snowing this time. When it was snowing several days ago, it is taking like two days. <coughs> Two days for 1,200 uh, units <coughs> of a street technique to clear all that off. <coughs> the snow got into my throat. I want to say that this live stream I want to dedicate to my father, Gennady, Gennady Baklukov. He uh, served in army, in the Soviet army for two years, back in 1977 uh, to 1979. Yeah, my father Gennady. I'm Gennadievich. My uh, patronymic is Gennadievich. It means like the son of Gennady. Yeah, here in Russia we have a last name, uh, first name, and patronymic. Like father's name. Sergey Gennadievich, actually. Привет, отец. Посвящаю лайф. Сегодня тебе посвящаю в честь праздника, так сказать. Два года советской армии отдал. By the way, it's uh, 6 11 p.m. now, and this is the time when here officially now the beginning of uh, the sunset. So, uh, and let me tell you about the concerts. The concerts will be in the White Hall of uh, Peter the Great, St. Petersburg Polytechnic. University and there will perform the military the military brass orchestra or as you say in English usually you say brass band uh, named after Admiral Nikolai Kuznetsov there will be patriotic melodies marshes and waltzes so now uh, I think that we completely will get to the atmosphere of the holiday. So I was pretty painstakingly selecting the events of uh, this day. And I selected this one. Let's say today there will be the fireworks. 
there will be the fireworks uh, from the Peter and Paul, uh, Peter and Paul fortress again. But look, I filmed the fireworks not so long ago uh, when it was the day of the end of the siege of Leningrad. So I decided that today uh, need something else because you know uh, uh, the variety is a priority for me. So today we gonna skip, we gonna skip, we're gonna miss the fireworks, but we go to something else, something not worth than the fireworks. We are going like to the real, to the real concerts of the real military brass orchestra, or as you say, brass band. And uh, you will listen to all the traditional repertoire of uh, the melodies popular uh, here in Russia and uh, considered as patriotic. I'm actually now walking through Polustrovsky Sad, Polustrovsky Garden. And uh, I'm gonna get to Polytechnicheska Street. Спасибо за поздравление. Welcome. Too much snow today. Yeah, I'm on. But that's okay, you know. The sunset time. Already like in uh, 15 minutes, it will be dark. But, uh, however, we are getting closer and closer to uh, the spring. As I told you before, every new day getting longer for uh, 5 minutes 27 seconds than the previous one. We are on the way to spring and uh, to super short nights, the white nights. Look, suburban train. A lot of suburban trains are here. We have five railway stations in St. Petersburg and many people use suburban train and it's pretty comfortable. It's, you know, it's like, it's like Metro, but just uh, on ground, not under the ground. For example, you remember I went to Pushkin and the way to Pushkin was only 29 minutes. The town of Pushkin. 
which is one of the closest outskirts of St. Petersburg. And not that expensive as well. So, uh, living in the outskirts, in the outskirts, uh, places in St. Petersburg which are close to railway stations uh, with the suburban trains can be a really good option for many people. The birch. Russian birch. Sergey, do you like skiing? Yes, but never did that for years and years. Россия, the white Russia. I'm gonna check my route. I'm gonna check my route. Okay, look. I did one wrong move. Need to get back a little bit. I'm not too much familiar with this area yet. So I was checking my route with navigator. Now I will have to cross the railways. I hope I will not stuck here now. Because actually I planned my timing without re reservation of time for the train. Okay, green light, which is good. Okay, good.
Okay, now turn to Polytechnicheske Street. And this is a final stretch, like a straight line to Polytechnic University. Look, there's actually the metro station right next to the university. It's like, yeah, like you're getting off the metro station, Polytechnicheske metro station, and you're right away appears to be next to the university. But this is just a concept of my live streams that you love so much that we are having a context regarding where we are before the actual event. This is a big part. This way you're getting more information. Way more information. You understand what happened around. I think it's pretty cool. It's much better if I would just appear in the uh, white hall of uh, St. Petersburg Polytechnic University right away, right? Am I right? I think I'm right. By the way, I have finished my negotiation with those classical musicians I filmed last week in the Kochniva house. I'm talking about the pianist and the vocalist. And uh, unfortunately, they came to conclusion, to conclusion that I have to delay the video from YouTube, from my channel, and I already did that because, well, the first reason is that uh, the vocalist Dmitry Voropayev, he was like after, right after sickness, kind of heavy sickness, as uh, they said, and uh, not in the best form, not in the best vocal form. So Dmitry himself personally was not uh satisfied enough with his performance it's the first thing the second thing is that they are actually working for Mariinsky theater they are the artists of uh, Mariinsky theater and uh, this is something what they had to negotiate with uh, Mariinsky theater oh almost fell off so and they never did that because i never negotiated with it's with them and uh so if marinsky theater will see that it may be a hard time for them to like explain what it is and uh that it's just a live stream like pretty conservative people uh so yeah I, unfortunately I had to delay that. Uh, however, however, our future partnership is open to question. I mean, like I said, that if uh, something will change in the future, if they will be more independent or something, or just they themselves somehow will want to invite me, uh, they have my phone number, they have my email. Welcome. But in my opinion, in my opinion, uh, every music, especially the classical music, needs a maximum of, uh, how to say, maximum of coverage. It must be everywhere without any limitations. This is a classical music. This is a public domain. Especially here in Russia, Russian classical music must uh, sound everywhere. From this point of view, let's say uh, St. Petersburg State Academic Symphony Orchestra, way more open-minded and way less conservative. 
as you know, they are themselves. They are themselves. Uh, they are themselves inviting me all the time to Belosilsky Belosilsky Palace on the uh, intersection of the embankment of Fontanka River and Nevsky Avenue. And uh, yeah, technically, technically, if talk about just like the quality of uh, the sound. And yeah, all those classical musicians are pretty picky, uh, pretty painstaking to the sound. But yeah, this is a live stream. So this is vloggers live stream. Uh, and um, it can be, it can be as good as the TV broadcast live stream. Okay. But here's another concept. And uh, it seems like it will take time before they will understand it. Uh, that's, well, it's just another concept. You know, I mean, just a one man, one streamer with a just uh, iPhone can provide a uh, multi-camera live stream with uh, great sound. There's the whole crews are working on it. Anyway, you saw the live and that's the main thing. Actually, all these live streams are having the most value when they go live, here and now, real time. <clears throat> Look, <laughs> the snow goes, yeah. If it will go at least like this, not too heavy yet, but, it will, but at least like this for a whole night. Wow, I'm not sure what we're gonna have tomorrow. Anyway, I absolutely, uh, uh, absolutely satisfied with uh, how we, I mean, I talk to the guys. They are pretty intelligent. We have a very intelligent talk. Uh, and uh, I think that after all, nobody, well, not me for sure. I, I hope not the, it seems like not the are uh, left with uh, some kind of, I don't know, complaints. Uh, they understood everything and yeah like they they actually seems like been flattered with uh, back then almost 2,000 people listen to them however however at least because of Mariinsky theater I had to delay that they are concerning that Marinsky Theater just can understand them wrong. And yes, it's pretty hard with Marinsky Theater. If you remember, when I addressed to Marinsky Theater, the public relations service told me that they have their own media group. And uh, they, they want to stay like exclusive. It's, uh, it's like, or come to the theater or watch their official streams and videos. Uh, also, they have a partner, TV channel called Mezzo. And that's it. Okay, so 6.31, I'm getting closer and closer to Polytechnic University. I think already in 15 minutes I will be there. Meanwhile, enjoy the streets of St. Petersburg of uh, non-historic city center. It's a little bit, a little bit more distant from the historic city center. It's more like 1950s, 1960s districts. In between of Lisnaya 
and Polytechnische metro stations. look at my navigator here I'm not as familiar with the location yet as in the historic city center okay only like two blocks yet to Polytechnic University one of the best in the country Actually, in some ratings, it's it's uh, on a second place after Moscow State University, named after Mikhail Lomonosov. You know, Moscow State University. Yes, in Moscow, such a skyscraper, Stalinist skyscraper, world famous Moscow State University. It's one of the biggest universities. Uh, I mean. St. Petersburg Polytechnic University, where we go now. Yet, already in 1935, there was 10,000 students. Now there are 16,000 students. Well, of course, not only there, not in that main headquarter, how to say, the main place, the main university. It's now the university which is located in several locations. But anyway, twenty seconds to go. Yeah, main campus. Yeah. Thanks for telling me. That's what I wanted to say. The main original campus. Of course, it's CC for a nice coffee and treats. That was a fast slog. Thanks so much. You need a coffee to warm up. Look, um, it's only like maybe 15 minutes left uh, to the university. And I think it makes sense to buy the coffee just there. So no worries. I better will buy coffee in the university. Let they let they uh, net some from my coffee, and actually your coffee too. Rise. Do 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 do. Do do. I think it's gonna be awesome concerts, at least from the point of uh, a point of view of uh, Russian music culture, because there you must listen to what is uh, considered as a Russian patriotic military music.
Hi, Captain. Captain Ron. <coughs> okay, already have more than 220 people on a stream. Look, only 20 minutes to go to the concert. Uh, military brass orchestra. We say orchestra, you usually call it brass band. Uh, this is uh, this is a brass orchestra named after Admiral Nikolai Kuznetsov. They will perform there now in the White Hall of uh, St. Petersburg State Polytechnic University, also known as Peter the Great Polytechnic University. Uh, founded in 1899 under the, how to say, uh, inspiration of uh, Sergei Vite. Back then he was a minister of finances of Russian Empire and in collaboration with Kovaleski, who is a Russian entrepreneur, a statesman, and uh, Dmitry Mendeleev, the scientist, chemist. He is an inventor of uh, periodic table of uh, chemical elements. He respects the chemistry. You need to respect the chemistry. Dmitry Mendeleev respected the chemistry. You know what I mean? I love these free concert walks. Dry. Dry. Yeah, I know. I mean, look. This is really much better uh, than if uh, we right away would appear in the White Hall. Uh, because this way I have a time to tell you a little bit more about uh, the uh, history of the place. You can feel the rounds. You're actually getting the additional context to the like, main action. Captain Ron, is this what global warming looks like? Well, it's normal. I mean, like, considering that almost all winter was almost with no snow and the plus temperatures, it's okay. By the way, already tomorrow, now it's minus 11 degrees Celsius, but already tomorrow there will be zero, and after tomorrow plus 4 degrees Celsius. Yeah, this is the last week. Well, technically, in Russia it's considered like the last week of uh, winter. March 1st here considered as the beginning of the spring, okay? Uh, so yeah, it's like uh, it's like the final barb of the winter before before it will be kicked off with the spring. Yes, it's a final barb, a desperate final barb of a winter. But spring is coming. Well, traditionally, I purchased the tickets just on Yandex. Yes, Yandex have the application or a website for everything. Yandex Afisha, what means Yandex poster. Uh, there you go, and there you can click like this city. Uh, in my case, St. Petersburg. And uh, to filter it by different kinds of events, concerts, sports for kids, uh, movies, theater performances. So I just like filter concerts and uh, select the dates or the dates. And I see everything there. And I buy the ticket right there. I select the, the place, the seat. Uh, and uh, the ticket comes to my email in PDF. PDF. And uh, nowadays you don't even need to print it out. 
you just open it up in your email just PDF file open it up and uh, for them it's not a problem to scan it to scan the QR code or barcode there in some places they just looking at this by the eyes through the eyes and that's it that's how you go so I pay just with my cards online getting PDF and that's it Seventeen minutes to go to the concerts, so I've got uh, best seats for us. The first row, the first row. So nobody's freaking heads will uh, close the uh, the image for us, like it was in the police station. Damn! In the police station, I sat right behind the man, and all the time. I had to play over his head from the left and from the right. Not to mention there was not too good Wi-Fi and uh, not good at all LTE. This is, by the way, already the territory, a huge territory of Polytechnic University. But we are going to the main building. The very main building, campus, main campus, uh, where is located also the White Hole, the White Hole, which was created special for uh, uh, different events, concerts, you know, because the students' life can be really big. And now they will perform the uh, Navy Brass Orchestra, named after. Admiral of the Soviet Union, Nikolai Kuznetsov. Uh, now you will hear what is considered as uh, patriotic melodies and maybe even songs. Yes, there have to be has to be the soloists, soloist. I hope. It's going to be a, a great evening. Six forty-five, less than fifteen minutes to the beginning. So there we are. I mean, here we are. Look, this is the main building of Peter the Great, St. Petersburg Polytechnic University. And look, there is the metro station. Actually, normally people would just come to this metro station, would make like, I don't know, 50 st steps and would come here. Okay, dudes, 1899, that's when it was founded by, back in those days, Minister of Finances of uh, Russian Empire, Sergei Vite. In partnership with Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev, the uh, the inventor of periodic table of chemical elements. Yeah. Classic architecture, classical architecture at its best. And we are going to the White Hall, which is located uh, from the right wing. I show formal vodka. Oh yes, also Dmitry Mendeleev uh, estimated the formula of vodka. <coughs> C 
so you see it's all the relatively huge building especially for those days of uh, the university and here is so-called white hole the white hole the white hall of polytechnic university uh 12 minutes to go and i think i'm uh in a pretty comfortable timing I think 10 minutes more than enough for me uh, now to uh, undress, uh, to get my clothes to the clock room and uh, to get my to get my seat. Okay, welcome. Beating off the snow from my shoes. Also, I need to wipe to wipe my shoes. I open up my email. Don't lose your jacket, good fella. Yeah, thanks. I will not lose, I've got a number. Okay, here it is.
Здравствуйте. Вот этот? Okay. They, you see, they scanned the uh, barcodes just from, uh, just just from phone. No need to print it out. No need even to print it out. Yes, I just told you that I purchased the ticket online with my card, one card. The white hole. Well, to be exact, it's a pre-hole. It's a pre-hole. The musicians are already warming up, you hear that? So the concert dedicated to the day of the defender of the fatherland. Есть латы, там ли капучино. Ну давайте. Хорошо, по карте. Что там? Что ты? Ага. Спасибо. Окей, quick coffee, and we go. Here is just a plain coffee, and they gave me the uh, cream. Oh. One. Okay, this was the first bell, so 10 minutes yet. 10 minutes to the beginning. There must be three bells. If it's uh, ringing one time, so this is the first bell. Two times the second bell. So is three times the third bell. 
in five minutes there will be the uh, second bell, then in another five minutes the third bell. Uh, keep joining, keep joining dudes, you're watching Baklikov Live uh, today in Russia, nationwide holiday, it's a day off, the day of the defender of uh, the fatherlands. Uh, since it's a holiday since 1919, it used to be like the Red Army Day, then uh, the Red Army and Soviets, the Soviets Red Army and Navy Day. And at first it was like, uh, like pretty military. So it's like mostly for like to, for the military people. But now it's uh, a little bit more civil. Of course, the military context is still pretty big. But now it's considered like also the uh, general, like a man's day. Because look, even if the man never actually served in the army, however, he's considered like the defender, the defender of his family and stuff like that. I've got a seat in the first row. Uh, прекрасно. Yeah, not bad coffee, considering this is not a coffee shop. And there's just a simple coffee machine. I remember recently I was disappointed with the coffee in the communal country coffee, nice coffee. I mean, like the ambience there, you know, all that Soviet stuff. But coffee was not good, not good at all. I mean, he, it's it really was not good because, as you know, not that often I complain about anything. They have no foods. Um, it's not that foods, it's most like uh, snacks, okay? The second bell. Let's get back. I mean, not get back, get in. Yes, it's a big crowd here because you remember recently uh, some of the limitations about events were lifted. Now uh, you can sell up to 75% of seats for a concert, movie theaters, theaters, and stuff like that. Okay, the third bell. We are beginning.
Написаны были военными, военными музыкантами разных стран. У нас палуба, у нас корабль, и он несется по волнам и морям. Он завоевывает победы, ведь наш оркестр объездил столько стран мира. И по традиции все российские корабли, которые плавали по морям и волнам, привозили впечатление. Вот у нас сейчас будет звучать замечательная музыка Георгия Каликова. Каликина, я оговорилась. Он родился на Каспе, всю жизнь свою прослужил на севере. Североморск и все северные города считают его певцом моря, северных морей. Он всю свою жизнь писал о море. И вот сейчас в программе нашего концерта, да, наш замечательный оркестр исполнит Фантазию для духового оркестра Георгия Каликина. Она называется «Я люблю тебя, море».
Bravo. I love you, the sea. That's how this piece was called. This is the military brass orchestra named after Admiral Kuznetsov.
потому что композитор Брайан Бальмашек написал замечательную сюиту, она называется «Музыкальные картинки», точнее, эти музыкальные картинки называются «Метаморфические да, танцы». И заставляет вас открыть учебники, открыть Википедию, полистать, это что за там метаморфические. На самом деле, это музыкальная планета Земля. Живут классические танцы, которые все равно меняются со временем, со временем. Как меняется порода Земли, потому что все, воздух, свет, и все, все явления природы сказываются, и года. И любимые танцы становятся уже классическими. А когда-то, вот казалось бы, только-только, в начале 19 века, как близко, правда, родилась Полька. А только-только родился вальс. На самом деле, это старинный уже танец, он уже окаменелый, потому что он родился еще тогда, когда императрица Екатерина II на балах не разрешала танцевать вальс слишком эротический. Юноша близко подходит к барышне, что-то нашептывает на ушко, танец запретить нельзя, иначе все нравы падут. И все страны, как заговорившись, пытались запретить вальс. Вальс мечтал танцевать Пушкин. Это что, тоже окаменилось? Получается, да. Потом танго, но ну, это же молодой танец, всего-то начало 20 века. Нет, 21 столетие, он уже тоже, он перешел, он скоро уже будет тоже окаменелость сил. И, наконец, прогулка последняя, да, что будет в этих метаморфических танцах. Вот такое путешествие, как бы в архив, в музей старинных танцев. Брайан Бальмаш. Метаморфические танцы.
Time, having a great time here celebrating a nationwide holiday, the Defenders of the Fatherland Day, 23rd of February. Вообще про все читать крайне интересно, но вы 
вот Дмитрий Мизер вместе с музыкантами придумали программу, которая, вот мне, например, что интересно было, прочитать про все это, осталось очень много вопросов и загадок, но самое интересное, когда композиторы писали, они так и думали, увидев название, мы обязательно будем листать справочники. Так просто не понять, почему это. Итак, седьмое племя. Кстати, предполагаю, что кочевали они с берегов Волги, пересекали э, сам, э, по дороге свои, своего продвижения ближе к центру Европы, э, практически всю Россию территорию. Потом они ее покинули и оказались вот там, где сегодня. Это седьмое племя. Сам себя венгер Ференц Лист называл цыганом. Голубоглазым, но цыганом. Потом следующее называется «Вечная верность». И третья пьеса «Завоевание Родины». Венгерские картинки композитор Тьери Делероэ. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Orchestra named as uh, Admiral of Soviet Union Nikolai Kuznetsov here in the White Hall of uh, St. Petersburg Polytechnic University, St. Petersburg, Russia. Вот это латинская 
фантазия оставит у нас яркое впечатление о танце, который мы встретим по дороге этой королевской. Потому что здесь те самые танцы, которые испанцы привезли на этот континент. И остались они и как хота, и как фанданга, и как яркие танцы, которые радуют всех, пересекают все границы и оставляясь, оставаясь в нашем сердце. Это латинская фантазия Альфреда Рида.
big time. An intermission. Okay, those who just joined, let me tell you hello. And you're asking where we are. This is the White Hall of St. Petersburg. State's Polytechnic University. One of the best universities in Russia. Founded in 1899 by the Ministry of Finances of Russian Empire, back in those days, Sergei Vita, in collaboration with scientist, chemist, Dmitry Mendeleev. He invented the periodic table of chemic, chemical elements. He, respect, he respected the chemistry. Dmitry Mendeleev respected the chemistry. You need to respect the chemistry. You hear me? Fifteen minutes break, and we'll get back to the scene. Today, here perform the Navy, Navy or military brass orchestra, named after the admiral of the Soviet Union, Nikolai Kuznetsov. Today, we're celebrating the uh, defenders of the Fatherland Day here in this awesome white hall of uh, Peter the Great St. Petersburg Polytechnic University. Keep joining. I enjoy and traditionally all I hope is you enjoy this too.
Ага, да, конечно. Amazing architecture. Well, Russian Empire. Pre-revolutionary times. 1899. Okay. Victor Z, so buffering. I can do nothing with this. I use LTE. Yeah, in some places it can be worth in some moments, I would say. The concert's finished. No, it's intermission. Uh, the second part, yes. A half of concert yet forwards. Uh, however, if you missed the beginning, you can watch later because this concert is going to be saved. Xavmets, Jayosh Limai, hi guys and welcome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing this nationwide holiday here in Russia, which is called the Day of the Defender of the Fatherlands. Yes, the uh, announcer said that in the second part we're going to sing and it's going to be cool. respect to you and your father Sergey welcome big time yeah my father served in the Soviet army 1977-1979 uh, alien truth seeker 666 Sergey you are a very cultured young man thanks for sharing the Russian culture with us always welcome uh, great concert Phil Martinez amazing show Sergey King Nero I'm pretty happy. I'm actually pretty happy to share the uh, Russian culture with you. Because, look, actually Russia wants nothing but just a peace, you know. Sergey, did you did you misplace your red, white, and blue muzzle? I was in it yesterday. I just from time to time change it. Not a big deal. Because this one is nice too. It's Saint Petersburg. Saint Petersburg, the city of white knights. Okay. 
and we are happy to discover how beautiful the Russian culture is. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Because I know that however many people appreciate the shit about Russia, I can see the videos all over YouTube uh, about the shit about Russia. And they are way more popular, way more popular. Brian B, your father raised a good son and that you honor him by dedicating this to him in life. Yes, I dedicate this live stream, let me tell you once again, to my father. Because look, initially, initially, this holiday was the Red Army Day. Then it was renamed to uh, the Soviet Army and Navy, Soviet Navy Day. Now it's the day of the defender of the fatherlands. And uh, it is still, still too much, uh, having, having too much of uh, military context. But now it's also more like, it has became wider. Now it's considered also like, a, more like a, just a man's day, okay? Man's day. Uh, because look, even if you're not served in army, it's considered that every man, however, however, the defender of his fatherlands, the defender of his family, you know. Jim Stiegel, I've learned so much about Russia from you. I'm very grateful to you. Thank you, big time. Enjoy. And uh, in a week, in like two weeks from now, we will celebrate the Women's Day, International Women's Day, 8th of March. Also, nation going to be a nationwide holiday and day off, official day off like it's today. It's an official day off, nationwide Russian holiday. And the 8th of March is also, uh, it's also nationwide holiday. Official day off. Phil Martinez, your IRLs never cease to amaze me. Thanks, thanks so much. Walter Oscar, it's wonderful. Thank you for sharing with us these moments about Russia and its people. Brian B, love your country, your government is not your people. Russia, Russia. Abhishek Yadav, lots of love from India to Russia. I paint stacking glue. I paint stacking glue. Uh, selecting, was selecting where to go today, and I think I found the best, the best events in this city, which is completely related to the day, to the day of the defender of the fatherland here in Russia. Jennifer June, such a beautiful architecture inside. Well, outside it's also pretty beautiful. 
Yeah, um, the uh, pre-revolutionary classical uh, architecture at its best. The White Hall of the St. Petersburg Polytechnic University, also known as Peter the Great Polytechnic University. Looking forward to the second part. Looking forward for that. I think uh, there must be something even more excited in the second part. That's how it usually happens. Like all the very best for the ends. Let's walk around. Okay, I've heard the first bell. So it means 10 minutes yet, 10 minutes of break. So this is Sergei Vitte. He used to be the Minister of Finances of Russian Empire. And uh, he was the main ideologist of the foundation of uh, Peter the Great. Polytechnic University in uh, 1899, 1899, so already 122 years ago. And he did that in a collaboration with Dmitry Mendeleev, the scientist, chemist,
the inventor of periodic table of chemical elements. That man was smart. Yeah, King Nero, I bet. Mendeleev also estimated the formula of vodka. Actually, many events happens here all the time in the White Hall of um, uh, University. Uh, this is the poster of today's events. This will be at the 25th. Tchaikovsky, the best, the best of Tchaikovsky. Uh, piano concerto number one of Pyotr Tchaikovsky and uh, symphony number five, organ concert. This is a farewell of uh, Russian winter concert. Uh, jazz and blues, organ and voice. Schumann, Robert Schumann, the great romantic. The uh, Knights of Romans. Beethoven, Chopin, so wide variety of uh, the events that happens here. Okay, now here was the uh, second bell. And it's better to get back, to get back to the hole. You hear me? Hey, let's get back to the hole. Let's get back to the hole. Are you ready to get back to the hole? got back to the white hole, which is really white. Now the concerts will keep going. Here now we'll perform. We'll continue performing the uh, Navy Brass Orchestra, which is named after the Admiral of the Union, Nikolai Kuznetsov. 
the guns are dedicated to the day of the defenders of the fatherlands. The third bell. Okay, just keep enjoying. Russia. Oh, wow.
нашего концерта Оркестр военно-морской академии имени Адмирала флота Советского Союза Николая Герасимовича Кузнецова открыл маршем, маршем Бориса Диева, участника Великой Отечественной войны, прославленного военного дирижера, преподавателя кафедры военных дирижеров Московской консерватории Бориса Диева. Наш нарядный, красивый корабль плывет. Александра Николаевна Бахматова услышала от моряков Северного флота, а куда они приехали вместе с мужем Николаем Добронравом, услышала просьбу. Надо написать что-то такое о моряках. Ну а что? О подводных лодках. Она говорит, я ходила почти всю неделю. Условия необыкновенные. За окном холодно, а у нас тепло, все загрето, и добро мы отношениям, но вот никак не приходит музыка. И вдруг услышали просьбу, а можно мне посмотреть, как приходят подводные лодки? Хорошо, Александр Николаевна, одели как полагается. Все на них, ушла прочь, все. Это на берегу гуляла какая-то маленькая, покушенная подростка. Девчонка или пацан, оттуда ездили не видно. Одета в морскую форму, и кто узнает, кто это она. А в это время все, зная, что сейчас придет подводная лодка, надо встречать ее, устраивали небольшой, ну, как сказать, вечер. Ужин готовили к морякам, хотя знали, что обязательно они помчатся домой. А Александра Николаевна ждала, когда эта лодка придет. А она пришла раньше положенного времени, и никто ее не встречал. И никто не бросит, как полагается, вот этот командный, никто не бросит. Оттуда командир подводной лодки громко кричал, ну не совсем литературно, глядя на этого молодого моряка, что он ходит по берегу вместо того, чтобы заниматься делом. Потом ему сказали, Витя, ты зря вот это все кричал. Это Александра Николаевна Бахмутова. Они, она все твои нелитературные слова положит на музыку. Но когда она увидела моряков, когда она увидела, как они выходят из этой подводной лодки, она говорит, вы знаете, вот сразу пришла эта мелодия. Коля оставалось только взять и написать слова. Этой песни, да у нас парни родились гораздо позднее. Она и наш дирижер говорит, да так нет. Она родилась в 1966 году. Знаменитая песня Пахматова, усталая подлодка. На стихи Кребенникова и Добронравова. Солист, лауреат всероссийских и международных конкурсов. Участник разных телевизионных программ. Александр Котенко.
свою, так веселей играй в труба, и пусть горчи поцелуй на губах, Мы в киотер на гордом строю, Сбережем честь и славу свою, Так веселей играй в труба, И пусть горчи поцелуй на губах, Сошит прощальный наш крик. Суровою ниткой И мне в отчайкой не рвануть Ему и с плоской в груди Прощай, прощай, матери Ты наводи нас с улыбкой И скоро свидимся мы вновь А что нам ждет нас впереди? Мы в кельватор на горном строю С берега звучит, и флагман вышел на рейд. Мы в кинотерном гордом строю, Сбережем честь и славу свою, Так веселей играй в труба, И пусть горчит поцелуй на губах. Мы в кинотерном на гордом строю, Сбережем честь и славу свою, Так веселей играй в труба, И пусть горчит поцелуй на Alexander Kotchenko, the military brass orchestra, named after Admiral of the Soviet Union Nikolai Kuznetsov, here in the White Hall of uh, Saint Petersburg Polytechnic University. We are celebrating nationwide holiday of the Day of the Defender of Fatherland. Потрясены были все, там были использованы несколько русских песен, а одна из них тронула за душу. Несут Христа, Христа. И вот этот долгий-долгий путь по земле. И звучит русская народная песня Ахтистеп Широкого. Все были потрясены. Итальянец не нашел другого. Она, он говорил так, она меня так за душу трогала. Ему поставили однажды пластинку, где пела Лидия Русланова, ты степь широкая. Она сказала, а я хотела, чтобы увидели эту степь, и было умиление, и слезы, и грусть. Вот все так и было. Помним фильм из знаменитого «Семнадцать мгновений весны». Исаев Штирлиц отмечает день 23 февраля. Как? Вот он в своей комнате печет картошку в камине. Наливает водку в рюмку. И вдруг начинает звучать она. Невозможно петь эту песню, что-то держит в руках. Он положил все это. Она такая, которую надо петь, как молитву. И отставив он ее поет. Но есть еще один фильм. Столько героев промелькнули. Они карикатурные, гротескные, шевелимые. И вот самый конец. Вот самый конец. И вдруг 
откуда-то с высоты, а ведь когда поем вот эту песню, казалось, мы на высоком месте смотрим туда, на эту степь. Нет, это она такая степь заставляет взлететь туда, вот туда. И когда летит этот самолет, и все на него смотрят, а оттуда немыслимая земля, эта степь без границ, и льется так эта мелодия, и все ее поют. И вот уже они были смешные, какие-то дурацкие сцены, мы хохотали, все было весело, и вдруг замерли. Это необыкновенная поэма, как бричка Чичикова, которая проносилась по этой земле, а она не тронута никакими земками, ни какой торговли, ни мертвыми душами. Чистая, красивая, вот такая, которая и загрустит заставит, за душу возьмет, и заставит умилиться, и заставит умилиться. Какая красота вокруг тебя. Русская народная песня. Ах ты степь, широкая. На сцене лауреат всероссийских и международных конкурсов Наталья Мисюра, Дудук, Виталий Погосян.
Это Россия. Это Россия.
the concert dedicated to the day of the defenders of the fatherland here in St. Petersburg, Russia, keep going.
was a nice solo.
an awesome time keep going here in the white hall of St. Petersburg Polytechnic University.
An awesome concert dedicated to the day of the defender of the fatherland here in Russia. Keep going. The White Hall of Peter the Great, St. Petersburg Polytechnic University. Вся улица светла. 
Вот он ее просто не узнал, потому что так светилась улица от улыбок, вот из-за этого пропустили. Если бы не девчонки, которые так улыбались, песню не разрешили бы долго. 1976 год. Звучит песня Шаинского на стихи Михаила Танича. Идет солдат по городу. Ярче солнечного дня, золотом горят часовые на посту, в городе весна, проводи нас наоборот, твари старшина, твари старшина, идет солдат по городу, а не знакомой улице, и я тулый мактевичи вся улица свинула. Для солдата главное, чтобы его далекая любимая штаба. А солдат попьет к воску, купит эскимо, никуда не торопясь, выйдет из кино, карусель его помчит. Музыка из меня и в запасе у него останется полдня, останется полдня. Идет солдат по городу, по незнакомой улице. И я тулый Мактевич, и вся улица свинула. Не обижайтесь, девушки, но для солдата главное, чтобы его далекая любимая штаба. Где любимая живет, липы шелестят и садится в карусель не ее солдат, но другие ничего все на одного, если только верно ждешь. Солдата своего, солдата своего Идет солдат по городу, по незнакомой улице И от улыбок девичьи вся улица свинула Не обижайтесь, девушки, но для солдата главное Чтобы его далекая любимая ждала Идет солдат по городу Вся улица светла, не обижайтесь, девушки, но для солдата главное, чтобы его далекая любимая штаба.
Defender of the Fatherland Day here in St. Petersburg, Russia. Hope you enjoy it. Big time. The White Hole 
of Peter the Great St. Petersburg Polytechnic University. Yeah, the guys want to photograph with the sailors. This is Baklikov's life. I painstakingly was selecting the event today, and I think that it's 10 out of 10. Well, at least this is completely, completely much uh, this day. The defenders of the Fatherland Day. Можно вас спросить, у вас есть программа? Да. Можно, просили подснять просто на секунду. Просто я сниму, какие были произведения. Сейчас. Да, вот сейчас. А, вот, вот, вот это, да? Да. Окей, okay, so guys, you asked me, here it is. For screenshots. Mm -hmm. Спасибо, спасибо большое. You guys was asking uh, for the program to make a screenshot. I actually never purchased the program because look, they sell these programs for cash. As always, I don't have any cash at all. Gail JB, thank you, Sergey. A fantastic event. Thanks so much.
Victor Z, why don't they make the program by QR codes? No idea. I'm not an organizer of the events. gonna get my codes and we go dudes It was pretty yeah, boyish. So this was the concert of uh, Navy Brass Orchestra, named after Admiral of the Soviet Union Nikolai Kuznetsov, here in the White Hall of uh, St. Petersburg Polytechnic University. The concert dedicated to the nationwide holiday here in Russia, which is called the Day of the Defender of the fatherland. I think it was pretty awesome. <laughs> well, at least here you've got, you've got like the whole cultural plast, okay? 
The main building of uh, Peter the Great Polytechnic University, also known as St. Petersburg Polytechnic University, founded in 1899, one of the uh, biggest and uh, top uh, universities in Russia. It is founded, driven by Sergei Vitsa, back in those days, the Minister of Finances of Russian Empire in collaboration with Dmitry Mendeleev, the scientist chemist who invented the uh, periodic table of uh, uh, chemical elements. An awesome classical architecture. And here is the metro station, Polytechnicheske, Polytechnicheske metro station, the red line, the first line of St. Petersburg metro. You see, I was walking here for like 15 minutes from Lesnaya metro station, but actually normal people just came to, uh, just, just, just came here, made 50 steps and they got to the university. A little church or like chapel is located on the territory of the university. An Orthodox Christian church. Thank you so much for sharing the time with me here today. It's great that uh, you joined to celebrate this day with me. And uh, see you later. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, okay? Thank you all. Time to go home and uh, in the end, traditional panorama. You see the entrance to Polytechnicheska metro station. Bye. J. Lewis. J. Lewis, thank you so much. Jim Stiegel. Liza G. Ayman Hatar. Neil McDonald's. Ralph Palgren, Stephen Briggs, see you later, have a great week, Joe Hernandez Jadis, Sultan 97 400. Ricky is Spanish, Victor Z, Phil Martinez, David,
Alien Truth Seeker. A line truth seeker. Chalupa Batman. Ethan Todd. Have a great week, guys. From St. Petersburg. From St. Petersburg Polytechnic University, Russia, with love.